Hi everyone and welcome to Wild Music. Kelly Day is a phenomenal vocalist and she's from Atlanta, Georgia, USA. She actually starred on season 14, America's Got Talent. She's currently studying for a doctorate in music and her study is in exploring the role of African-American opera singers in the establishment of the spiritual as a musical art form from 1900 to 1920. Wow. She's recently released a song called In Trouble, but this song is a cover that she's recorded previously called Hear My Prayer. And this is one she released in 2017, in fact, in April that year. <clears throat> it was written by Moses Hogan. I'll tell you a bit about him. He's an international performer and composer of music, particularly in spiritual styles of music, the spiritual. He was born in 1957 and died in 2003, so very young, unfortunately from a brain tumour. But anyway, let's hear Kelly Day. amazing <laughs> what a range and she's just got such a beautiful vibrative sound in her lower register and also in her high register and everything in between obviously but wow let's go back and hear some things that she did let's start with her lower register whoa what a rich down rich tone from about this point let's hear <laughs> Let's hear it again. That is beautiful. Oh, 
you away right let's hear another example of her really rich low tone from about this point That's high there. Phenomenal. How well controlled is her tone? <laughs> it's stunning. Let's hear that again. While we're thinking of low tones, why don't we now flip to the opposite end and let's hear some of her high-pitched sounds. Whoa, there was some there. But let's go back to the beginning. It wasn't as high, but still getting up. Back a little bit further than that. Control. <laughs> She's phenomenal. Let's hear it again. <laughs> and just the way she controls the dynamic level for variation. She knows when to go loud and then she chooses specific places to pull back and go a lot softer. And that really adds the dynamic interest throughout the song. Let's hear somewhere else. More example of her high tones. Okay, see, it was very, very delicate, those high notes. Let's hear them again. But so beautiful. Lovely. And another point. A little bit further on. right up in the stratosphere right whoa let's see that again i'll go back and play that again What about some of her riffs? They're phenomenal. Here's an example. There too. <laughs> Let's see those two riffs again. Wow. <laughs> ha 
Absolutely amazing. Another example further on. <laughs> Let's hear those again. Wow. Beautiful. Now there we heard an example of her beautiful vibrato as well. Let's go back and hear another example of her vibrato. So there's two examples, one of her vibrato in her low register and just then one in the high register. And I'm guessing another one's coming up very soon in the high register again. So I might play it on a little bit further, but let me go back, play those and I'll let it play a bit further. great examples there and you can just really feel her spiritualism shining through she's projecting that meaning of the song right right to the listener and is doing it exquisitely well there's one more thing I wanted to point out and that was the way when one of the amens where she sort of stopped the sound amen and I really loved the way she stopped and then continued. It was just gave it a bit of variety. Somewhere around here. There. Beautiful. Let's hear that again. I would just let it play right the way through to the end to finish off our experience today of Cali Day. Fantastic, sensitive accompaniment from the pianist as well. And you could see those other people in the background were just <laughs> blown away by Cali's vocals as well. Wow, that was a treat once again. I hope you enjoyed my reaction today to Cali Day and I look forward to seeing you on another reaction very soon. Bye for now.